Contact 7, hearing from families worried about a popular Thornton Park playground. Some say it's becoming a safety hazard for kids. So Connor West went to the city to find out what's being done about it. On hot summer days, many kids and families head here to Margaret Carpenter Park in Thornton. But the ground at the playground is falling apart. And while the city has put patches in places where they're having issues, there's also more holes sprouting up in these spots. And families are concerned about the safety of their kids. Look at that. He looks like Spider-Man. Every park needs a superhero. Nice job. For Casey Eamon, she's fighting crime in the ground. It's a really great park, but it should be up in working order and not a safety hazard. Casey posted on Nextdoor describing the problems she sees at Margaret Carpenter Park. It's been about a year. And the impacts on her kids. The pieces of the floor end up coming home with us on our kids. Is this safe? Is it dangerous? Is it toxic? And, you know, it just it's kind of frustrating when months and months go by and nothing at all is being done. Some parts of the playground are now closed because of the hazards. They're constantly tripping or they're going to fall or they're running into each other. We took Casey's concerns to the city. When you pay for something, you want it to work the right way. The Thornton Parks and Recreation Department has bought more than two dozen patch kits to fill holes on the playground surface over the last few years. But the city says it's time to take further action with the manufacturer. We would like them to fix the entire surface so that it's reliable and and just uh, is what you would expect at a playground. Because with great power comes great responsibility to keep the community safe. Our kids' safety should be a priority considering they're here every single day and it is packed. In Thornton, I'm Connor Wist for the Now Denver. So Connor asked, the city of Thornton could not tell us a timeline for when that whole surface should be repaired. They are in the process, they say, though, of sending pictures and concerns to the manufacturer to get a solution. We'll follow up on that one, but if you ever have a problem that you'd like us to look into, Contact 7 will help you out. Email us at contact7 at thedenverchannel.com or call or text the number you see on your screen. And you can also reach out to us on Facebook or Twitter. 